Jeff, they, they say you, you know you don't necessarily know a guy till you get him in the building. For for Wendell, you know what kind of guy has he been since you you brought him here to Orlando? Um, you know, I think you always say you can tell a person by the way he plays, and I think you can tell a lot about Wendell Carter by the way he plays. Um, he's uh, he's he's a worker. He's a guy who cares about his teammates. He wants to please his coaches, and and he knows that this that this business is about winning basketball games so all those ingredients he's about the right stuff he's about everything that we want to be about going forward and that kind of seems like a as the season pro, uh, approaches that's a big confidence boost for him to get this extension and know that you guys are in with him yeah i mean obviously you know uh rookie extensions are always difficult conversations uh there's always um, a bridge between, you know, where a 22-year-old uh, sits today and, you know, where he's going to be by the end of that contract. And within that, you have to find whether there's a range to have a discussion about a contract. Um, obviously, we were able to kind of cross that bridge with, with um, Wendell's representatives and, uh, you know, hopefully um, puts him in a good place. But um, he's, he's going to work and, and he's going to be a great teammate regardless. Can you see the work that, that he put in this offseason, specifically in relation to his range? Just, just how much more valuable as an asset does it make him on the court with the ability to play in, in different lineups in a variety of different positions? Well, when Wendell is a growing player and, and, and he's a worker, so I, I do expect that we'll see improvement in his game in a lot of different areas. Obviously, you know, today's NBA is about shooting, and we do feel that he has uh, growth kind of uh, uh, baked into his, into his developmental curve. But it all starts with the work. So, uh, you know, he's got, he's got good feet. Um, you know, obviously, Coach Mosley's played him and Mo together. So, you know, you're kind of seeing some a little bit of positional versatility. And uh, this is all part of what we think could unfold for him over the next several years. With some teams in the past, you may have had some benchmark goals that you expected uh, them to meet. Uh, but is it more difficult with this group to, to set some of those kind of benchmark goals? Yeah, I don't really set benchmark goals. I always believe that if you if you play the right way and, and play together, that the results will kind of speak for themselves. And obviously, we've recalibrated what we're doing right now. So, you know, with this group, I do expect us to play hard. I this is about growth. It's about the development of our players. It's about a lot of young guys learning what it takes to win in the NBA. And uh, obviously, it's also probably maybe first and foremost about health, about returning injured players to our roster, keeping everybody healthy, and growing uh, a, a group of you know younger players into successful NBA careers. Speaking of injuries, how do you feel about the progress of the guys who aren't able to play right now? They're, they're making great progress, no setbacks. They both look, they both look terrific. Um, and uh, I should say, you know, Michael's doing well as well. Um, so, you know, we have obviously high hopes for those guys. But as you guys know, we're going to do it the right way. We're going to think about their long-term health. And um, so all good so far, and we're really excited to reintroduce them when the time comes. We didn't ask Coach, but Chuma, how is he looking? Is he getting close? Well, again, I won't put a timetable on it, but yeah, Chuma's, Chuma's been a, 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 a nearly full participant in everything that we're doing, and um, now it's a matter of kind of reconditioning him and making sure that um, he's, he's ready when we, when we get him back into, um, you know, NBA game speed situations. Jeff, it's tough to look at any trade in, in, in a silo, but when you guys made the decision to restart, reset the roster, you look back at the, the Bulls trade where you're able to gain sa salary cap flexibility, uh, you get a young player back like Wendell plus, you know, two draft picks. Just how much was that trade, you know, hitting on all the elements of what you'd want when you're, when you're making that kind of move? Well, you know, obviously, um, I think it was hopefully a good trade for both teams. We both have different, you know, agendas and mindsets when, when you make a trade like that. Um, you know, we're excited about Wendell. Um, so far, you know, one of those picks has been, um, you know, materialized into Franz, and we're excited about Franz. 
Uh, obviously, where we are financially and everything else is, is, was a part of that day. So, you know, our future is in front of us and we're excited about both of those young guys. I would say TBD, you know, like those guys have a lot of work to do and they, they have a lot of distance to cover before they grow into being highly successful NBA players that we expect them to be. But, um, you know, we're excited about it. How is this season for you just personally? It's got to be some sort of excitement level because you're kind of venturing into a new frontier, I guess, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, we've spent a lot of time this summer um, discussing um, how we need to uh, reconfigure the way that we work and um, how we measure things. And so uh, organizationally, we've had a lot of conversations about that uh, with the new coaching staff and the performance staff. And so it is an exciting time. And, and, and I really believe that there's a feeling amongst our group that this is kind of the ground floor of something that could be special. And, you know, I hope our fans feel that too. You know, like th to me, like this is when it's fun to be a fan and there's, there's kind of like that partnership, you know, with the team, you know. And so uh, I can say that there's a, there's a great vibe around the organization right now. The players are feeling good about it. We understand that um, our, our, our kind of mindset and the way that we're going to work is going to be different. And uh, we have to put these guys in a position to get through the early stages of their career where they come out of that successful NBA players who know how to win. And there's so many things that you hope come to fruition that obviously that you've worked through all summer. But right now still, there are a lot of things you don't know yet until you see it, right? There's a whole lot we don't know. I mean, you know, and, and obviously we will learn as, 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 as kind of the fans learn in real time. You know, some of the stuff is, is, is a matter of, we know that there are gonna be bumps in the road, but we don't know where they're gonna come. You know, we don't know when they're gonna come. So we have to be prepared to have the way that we work um, incorporate those bumps in the road into how we get better. And that's what we spent a lot of time talking about. So, um, you know, look, every team is going to face adversity over the course of an NBA season, but when you're, when you're young and you're going to dedicate a lot of minutes to players who really haven't been through it before a whole lot of times, um, you know, you can probably expect more than most. And so we understand that, we understand that comes with that, and we also understand that with that comes a lot of growth and a lot of improvement, and that's the exciting part. Okay, so the, uh, contract extension. How's that, done? How's that feel for you? Um, you know, it's amazing. Uh, you know, all the work, um, all the you know, sleepless nights. You know, from just when I was a little kid, dreaming about this moment, and uh, to finally be here is just a blessing. You know, I give all the grace to God. Um, I thank my parents every day for this, and uh, you know, it's just a blessing. But it's just the beginning. You know, I, I don't want. I don't want to feel like I'm content with this. Um, I want to continue to help my team win and continue to do uh, all the right things. Because at the end of the day, when, when you're winning, you know, it makes things a lot a lot easier. You know what I'm saying? Wendell, how, how welcomed have you felt by this organization and, and this team since you joined it at the, at the trade deadline last season? Um, just the fact that they traded away one of their best players for me um, just shows that they wanted me here. Um, then when I got here, I you know, immediately felt the love from them. Um, you know, they made sure, you know, anything I needed, they helped me with. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, it was just about me going out on that court and performing and showing them what I can do. You put in a lot of work this offseason, both extending your range. You visited the team at, at Summer League. Just just how focused and determined were you to, to make that a big offseason for you? Um, you know, I, I realized, you know, going into my fourth year that this is a big year coming up for me. Um, you know, especially after getting traded, you know, I had a lot of mixed emotions about it. And you know, I just realized, like, uh, I just need to buckle down and just really focus on my craft. Just get back to what got me to this league, you know, just being that hard worker. Uh, just put my mind to the things that, you know, it's, it's going to help me become a better player. And that's just what I did. When they approached you about the extension, was that a surprise to you or has it been in the works or anything? Um, no, I wouldn't say a surprise. Um, no, I, after after meeting you know meeting with them and talking to my agents and stuff, you know, it, it all made sense. It all made sense. And uh, you know I'm not a guy who who the number doesn't change or make me feel some type of way. Because at the end of the day it's a business. You know at the end of the day I go out there I produce help this team win. 
and you know they make the last decision, you know, on what to do in terms of paying people. So like I, I never look at it as oh I deserve more or any of that. Because at the end of the day, you know when you win, it makes things a lot easier. Like I was saying. Yeah, we didn't get any information on. So how long is the contract? Uh, four years. Four years. So you'll be done with this one in what year? Twenty. I'll be twenty. Twenty-five. I think. So what's that? Twenty twenty. Four? I might, uh, I might be wrong. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But four years ago. I'll look it up. So, um, and then obviously it, it makes them put a focus on you, sort of, as this guy that, that they want to build around. And how's that feel? Uh, it feels good, you know, especially being with a young team. Um, you know, it just feels good to know that, you know, they got that kind of love or kind of respect for me where, you know, they understand that I can bring that kind of value to a team. So. You know, just the fact that they even took that chance with me, um, you know, with the little sample size that I had with them, and just in the league in general, not ever playing a, a full 82-game season yet. Um, you know, they, they 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 see the potential and they see you know, they see into the future and realize what I can really do for this organization. Wendell, since Coach Mosley's got here, he's preached you know a defensive mindset, playing with you know high energy, being versatile. You know, how much do you feel you're a personification of that, that those are all, you know, traits you entail? Um, you know, growing up, you know, I, I never was a, a true five man. I kind of played three through five. Uh, I got to the league and kind of got stuck at the five position because Mo's, you know, especially with our team, you know, and the, the personnel we have, I feel like that's exactly what, you know, is going to help us win. You know, all of us um, can guard multiple positions. All of us can play most positions on the offensive end, so like he understands that. And uh, you know, with him coming from a winning culture, you know, he understand like he knows how to win. You know, so like um, I feel like it's it's, it's going to help us a lot. You know, in player development and also winning. Probably already asked this question, but just you know, going into this new season, you just signed your contract extension. How does that make you feel going into the new season? Does it give you kind of some extra pep in your step? Um, you know, it, it, it definitely relieves some stress. Um, at the end of the day, I am human. It's like, uh, you know, it's you think about it a lot. You, you, you. Well, for me, I pray about it a lot, and uh, you know, for for it to happen like this, kind of, you know, eases your mind, and now it allows you to like really showcase, um, you know, w without any stress behind you. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, not trying to say it's about money, but at the same time, you know, you just. You know, you, you get a little stressed about things like that. You know, you just never know what can happen. Um, but you know, with, with, with this situation, um, you know, I'm going into this season with the same mindset. You know, gotta win. But when, like I was saying earlier, when you win, it makes everything a lot easier. It makes decisions easier for you know, for everybody. So, you know, that's that's definitely my main goal. I've been talking to some of the guys about the bell ringing philosophy. <laughs> Yeah. How much do you see that carrying over to the, uh, the game? game uh, honestly, like even during preseason, like whenever someone made a hustle play, a good block or anything, we all on the uh, on the bench, like ring the bell, ring the bell. So like it kind of, it's kind of a little thing that we didn't uh, develop as a team, and I think it's pretty neat, you know, just to, you know, because because in the stat sheet, you know, sometimes those hustle plays are not in the in the stat sheet. So like you know, just for the team or your teammates to recognize when you're making a hustle play, you know, I think that's pretty neat. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate you.